Hi, my name's Andy McKenzie and here we are at the beautiful Langston House Hotel uh, in Winchester. Um, and you know, we're really sad that we, the, obviously the Watercrest Festival isn't going to happen this year, but um, I guess it's the next best thing of what we're used to. We're doing it via or virtually, so we can sh at least share some of our uh, recipes and watercress recipes with you all uh, when you guys get, get to watch this on the special day, I guess, of, of the Watercrest Festival that's going to be virtual. But um, I hope you enjoy, enjoy the videos. Uh, we've enjoyed making them. Uh, myself and Philip put, put the recipes together and enjoyed uh, sort of patching them all together. So um, enjoy and uh, we, we hopefully look forward to seeing you next year in the in the for real uh, when everything comes back to normal and we can look upon these times as uh, just a distant memory but um, enjoy hi i'm phil here from langston house the uh, zex chef uh, sorry we couldn't hit the watercrest festival this year but uh, we put together some lovely uh, recipes in a wood-fired oven which is used in this beautiful local watercress with a nice beef pavette cooked on the tuscan grill some lovely watercress crassinis and also some asparagus and some vegetables, all wood fired. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Here we are making some lovely watercress chimichurri for our beef dish. So we've got a lovely watercress there, some, some fresh coriander, a little bit of parsley. You can add some, um, some garlic into that, shallot into a blender here. Fresh red chilies. We also finish this with some some red wine vinegar and olive oil. So just set up your food processor, just roughly chop through the, uh, the shallot, chili and the garlic, and chop down your watercrest, just a little bit smaller to help the blender. So we get that nice and smooth. There we go. So in with the watercress and the coriander on top of our shallot garlic chili, a little seasoning of salt, followed by a seasoning of pepper, there we go, now place your lid on top, it's going to pulse this, start to blitz it down, you can see that breaking down nicely now. Then you add your vinegar into the mix whilst mixing. And then next, just add your olive oil while blending. And there you can see there all that lovely colour of the green watercress. And all those bits blitzed down to a nice smooth dressing. And that's our chimichurri to serve with our beef bevets. Okay, the next recipe up is this lovely uh, wood-fired vegetables. Uh, we're using some lovely local asparagus, uh, maybe this watercress butter that's going to put this um, beautiful uh, little uh, vegetarian dish together, really. So we're going to scorch and blister the red pepper. We use a little bit of rapeseed oil just to uh, oil things up, just to give the, the, the uh, bell pepper a fighting chance in this wood-fired oven. Uh, and we're going to scorch it all over. So we're going to put it in this nice hot oven where we're going to keep moving it around. To, uh, to, to do some scorching. So well, with, while that's scorching away, we're gonna chop the shallot that, that's there nice and finely. We're gonna prep up the asparagus. And the way to do this is to, um, to, to kind of bend the asparagus. And where it naturally snaps is where you want to um, take off the woody bit from the bottom. But don't throw that bit away because that's gonna make a great soup or a great sauce. So just uh, snap away till you get them all done and then they're ready for the next stage. So what we've got then is we've got the lovely um, asparagus prepped up. We've got some lovely cultivated mushrooms that um, we're gonna use for this particular dish. And we've made some watercress butter and all that is just uh, unsalted butter mixed with some loads of chopped uh, watercress, uh, which is gonna be uh, what we're gonna cook the uh, vegetables with. Um, the mushrooms there, uh, yeah, cultivated mushrooms, are all available on the farmer's market. And we've got a bit nice bunch of uh, watercress that we're going to throw in as well, just to make it even more watercressy than it already is. Okay, we well, can see now we've scorched the bread pepper. Um, you know, it, it is the skin that's just blistered. So we're just going to take that off, put it in a bowl, put a bit of cling film over it, let it steam away 
um, in its own sort of juices there. And you can buy these jars of, of smoked peppers, but we've, we've kind of made our own really. And the way to go about this now is after about 10 minutes in the bowl steaming away, we're going to cut that into segments uh, with a nice sharp knife. And then we're just going to simply scrape away, we'll take out the seed, we don't need that bit. Just uh, scrape away the black charred skin that's on it. And you're going to be left with this lovely uh, kind of smoked pepper that um, you know you'd pay good money for if you're going to buy a jar of these. But um, you've kind of beat them to it. You've kind of made uh, your own uh, smoked peppers, smoked sweet bell, bell peppers, which are going to fit in this lovely uh, roasted um, vegetable dish that's going to accompany the beef that we're going to put together. So just to scrape away, you know, it all comes off nice and easily, um, and you're left with this lovely. Uh, rich sweet red pepper which we're going to then shred up uh, into kind of strips that are going to fit under the, uh, with the vegetables. Look at that, beautiful. So now you've got all your ingredients ready to roast in the wood-fired oven. Uh, you're simply going to melt in, in a nice cast iron pan. Now we, we're putting this in the wood-fired oven, you, don't, you can do this in your oven at home or even on the barbecue. Anyway, the, the uh, watercress butter goes in um, and we're just going to simply start to cook um, we'll melt the, melt the uh, watercress butter first. In goes the shallots, and the asparagus can all go in along with the mushrooms. Now, any cultivated mushrooms, are king oysters, and enoki that are kind of going in there, um, which we're going to then cook cook together in the wood-fired oven, which uh, it, it, it's about 250 degrees in there, so it's going to cook really nice and quickly. Uh, we're just going to simply every sort of five minutes out it comes, give it a nice stir around, uh, and then we just uh, cook away. And there's nothing finer than cooking in a wood fired oven. Um, and you can see how quick it cooks, believe it or not. And the flavours that are going to come from the, the smoke that's in there as well, or, or the, the fire that's going to create this lovely, uh, lovely aroma as well with the, with the vegetables. It's like another ingredient, which is fantastic. Uh, when, it's, when it's cooked, you can just season it up there beautifully. And then have a little taste as well. Tasting is important. And then we're just going to uh, stir all those flavours in together. And you can see yourself with a lovely uh, roasted vegetable, um, or roasted vegetables that we're going to accompany our beef with. But you know that could be a side dish or even a, a starter dish, uh, or sort of accompanying anything you like that, that you can imagine, fish or meat. Um, beautiful uh, little little dish there. We've kind of created using um, some wonderful vegetables, especially the wonderful asparagus that's around at the moment. Okay, so here we have our lovely Bavette steak and we're going to season this up with a nice little simple rub. Give your Bavette a nice brush of English mustard. Don't be shy with it. Make sure you get a good coating on both sides. Then we add our salt into a bowl, followed by some chili powder, some black onion seeds, some black pepper, and some nice smoked paprika. There you go, so just give that a good mix up, and then that's ready to go. Take your bavette, which has been brushed with the mustard, and we give it a good seasoning. Don't be shy again, lots, plenty of that seasoning on there. Take on that flavour. And what's nice to do is you could do this a good hour before, just let it rest in the fridge for those spices to really absorb into the meat. So flip it over. Again, we're going to season that bavette. Good sprinkling again. That looks lovely. There we go. Next up, we've got our wood-fired oven up to a nice temperature of around 300, 350 degrees on a Tuscan grill. Get plenty of heat into that and then place the bavette steak onto the Tuscan grill. Push that over the coals where all that heat is. And as you can see, that's just sizzling away beautifully. We cook it for about three to four minutes on each side and then we're gonna rest it on this board. Next, we add our chimichurri sauce on the side there. We're just placing some new butter on top of the bavette and some hot embers from the oven. 
just on top of that butter to melt it nicely and that just coat the bavette beautifully and add that lovely spiced flavour, nice and buttery with that fresh chimichurri to go with it. Full of watercress, fresh chilies, lovely and fresh, beautiful. Remove the coals. I don't want to get any burnt fingers, so be careful. As you can see, that butter's lovely and melted. All that caramelized seasoning on the beef. And we're ready to serve. We just add our vegetables on there, sprinkle over the chimichurri, carve a few nice slices, and then you're good to go. And I think that looks absolutely stunning. Some nice asparagus, spiced bavette, that Nuja butter, and that beautiful chimichurri, watercress chimichurri dressing. Enjoy. Last but not least, we've got this wonderful uh, watercress breadstick that we're going to make uh, using this um, uh, watercress smoothie, if you like. So you're going to make a smoothie with just a, a couple of bunches of uh, watercress. That's going to go in your smoothie maker, blitz it right down. You've got this 240 grams of watercress uh, puree, as it were. You're going to add your yeast to that. And we're going to just leave that for a good 10 minutes to rehydrate the, the dried yeast. Uh, which is going to activate our, our wonderful breadstick. So in goes the salt and the sugar um, into the flour and we're just going to mix that up um, uh, briefly in a minute. We're going to add the uh, olive oil to the uh, watercress puree there, uh, mix up the, up the flour and then after a good 10 minutes when the yeast is rehydrated uh, in the, the puree, uh, the watercress uh, smoothie if you like, that can then all go into the flour and then we're going to mix that really, really well. Uh, you know, take your time uh, to mix all this together. Uh, use a spoon to start with, then after a while you can just knead it by hand. You don't need to watch me do that bit. But if you just bring it all together, knead it by hand, a good 10 minutes uh, kneading away until you get this lovely, smooth, very green, vibrant dough, which you then need to cover uh, and leave for a good hour just to double it or to double in size and then we're almost ready to cut it into even sizes uh, which is what we're going to do here you can see um, we're going to get about uh, eight nice even, even evenly sized uh, pieces of dough which we're then going to shape into um, uh, uh, kind of sticks really which we are going to start the process for the sticks but all we need to then do is take individually pieces and then we're going to bash them down like that. We're going to sort of fold in the ends and then to bring them towards you to roll up nice and tight uh, the sort of shape that we're going to, going to start to form uh, one by one. Just keep do, doing doing this until you get them all done uh, and then you're going to leave them to rest. But first we'll get them all nice and neat, all the same size, nice and straight like soldiers this lovely watercress dough which is wonderful to work with it's a beautiful color and it actually stays that color when you cook it which you'll see a bit later on um, there we go we just roll them all up there and just, once you've rolled them all uh, to start the process we can just leave them for a good 10 minutes to sort of uh, uh, sort of relax a little bit before we go on to the next piece uh, and we take our time with all of this because all the time it's still uh, it's still rising it's still doing its thing but uh, here we go so this is the rolling bit so we're going to almost roll it with our hands um, from the inside, from the, from the middle all the way to the out. Uh, and you know, if it does start to roll and where you can't roll it, you can just spread it with a tiny bit of water, and that helps everything kind of stick, which make, gives you a bit more control. Uh, but anyway, you can see we can roll right to the end, so you get the nice pointy ends is what we really want. Um, it takes a little while to get the hang of it, but you know, take take your time, get it get it right. So once you've done them all like that. We're just going to cover them again with a cloth and give them a good uh, sort of 15, 20 minutes to um, start to rise even more. Then we can then put them in the wood-fired oven, which is dropped in temperature, so it's probably down to about 180 degrees. And the floor is, is nice and hot as well. So we could just slot these in uh, and they're literally in the oven there. They're literally not going to take, take minutes to cook, uh, probably about two or three minutes. Uh, turn them around in the oven and then out they come onto a cooling rack. You can brush them with a little bit of either melted butter or olive oil and then you can uh, 
scatter a little bit of uh, rock salt or uh, sea salt on there as well um, and they're ready they're ready to serve you've got this beautiful uh, watercress flavored breadstick which you can see they're nice and green on the inside absolutely light and fluffy beautiful with anything really um, yeah and there you go you've got these lovely watercress flavored breadsticks which are truly delicious Okay, that's a little bit done. I do hope you enjoy enjoyed the videos. Um, you know, in the beautiful garden uh, of Langston, where lots of fresh produce is, is coming up out of the soil as we speak, um, the hotel is getting itself all ready for, for bringing customers and guests back to our, you know, our hospitality, what we know best, what we do best. So we hope to see you very, very soon uh, at Langston or wherever. So um, thank you for watching and Look forward to seeing you next year anyway. So I hope you uh, all enjoyed our video. Um, you know, it was great to cook with the lovely watercress again and that lovely local produce in the wood-fired oven. And um, let's hope next year we can see you all at the festival live and uh, not from a video.